Hi everybody, this is Pam Coey and it's been a while since I've posted on my YouTube channel because I've been really busy. i uh, got a lot of things going on. I'm preparing for a solo exhibition at the Moscow Contemporary in Moscow, Idaho. That's in the USA. And uh, I've got a lot of pieces that I'm preparing, a lot of big pieces. Um, I've got uh, about a 12 large pieces that are like 48 by 48 or 48 by 96. I've got some mid-sized pieces, and then I've got some smaller ones that were part of a snail mail project, and there's over 100 pieces in that, and so it's a very large space at the Moscow Contemporary, but as I prepare for this, uh, the show is October 7th through December 31st, 2022, at the Moscow Contemporary. I thought I would just share some of the final things that I do. Uh, preparing for show. There's actually quite a lot, quite a laundry list. I thought I'd show you my list here. And uh, it's quite a process, but um, everything from, there are a lot of dates on here, like deadlines when they need certain things. Not just like your artist statement, and I'm working on a full color catalog, and uh, so you need to have lots of high res uh, images. And I did have a professional photographer come into my studio and take all those photos. I actually do have the capability to do that myself, but I was kind of running out of time. So I had him come over to my studio and he's a great photographer and uh, he did a super job. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm putting on like this final layer on my acrylic pieces or acrylic mixed media. I've got several. And this one happens to be a diptych. It's 48 inches by 48 inches, and there are two of those. So that's a diptych, there are two of them. They go together, and uh, so what I typically do, um, well, I'll just show you, because why should I tell you when I can show you, right? So anyways, here we go. So hopefully you can see that I've got a panel here. This is um, actually half of a diptych, and it's been treated already with a polymer medium that I put over the top of my acrylic paintings. And the next thing that I have to do right now, because it's super shiny and I don't really want it to be super shiny, is I'm gonna hit it with some steel wool. And sometimes that kind of scares people, but you actually, um, you actually have to be pretty firm with the steel wool. And so let me grab that. So again, this is an acrylic painting, and the reason I do this process is because I don't want it to be super shiny. I like a satiny finish. So I've got my steel wool here. It's been used on the other panel. The other panel's done, but I need to do this one, and I thought I would just show you a little bit how I do that. I have a bucket of water here, and I just dip the steel wool in there, and I have to use quite a bit of like um, strength. <laughs> My arm really hurts because I've been doing a lot of these panels. But what you want to do is just like a circular motion like this. And what you're trying to do is knock back the shine. So you knock back the shine and then you know you want to kind of dry it with a paper towel because you've got water on it and you've got these little steel wool particles which they will rust and turn like that rust color. And you want to make sure to get all of those little bits off. So I spent a lot of time, it could take me an hour to put steel wool on this large of a surface and because uh, you want to make sure you get every bit of it. Like if you've got any areas that are glossy, you want to hit it with steel wool again. You keep dipping it in water and you just keep doing this. Uh, but then after I do the steel wool part and you know wipe it off with a nice dry, several paper towels to get it you know completely dry, that allows me to then like look at an angle and see where I might have missed a part. I'm looking for shiny areas and you know after you hit it with the steel wool and dry it when you tilt your head and you know have good lighting those areas that are still shiny will really show so it's not like it's hard to find. You really know where they are and then you can come back with your steel wool and just spot check those areas that are really shiny and then what I do is I take uh, a thin layer of cold wax medium no Galka gel or anything in there. And again, this is an acrylic painting, but once I dull the surface with the steel wool, I'll take a very thin layer of cold wax medium and I put it on with like a, a silicone tool so it's super thin. And then I let it dry and then I just buff it to a satiny finish. That's my favorite finish for any acrylic painting, uh, whether it's small, whether it's big. Uh, it's just a process you go through and every step of the way, 
It gets a little bit more tricky when the painting is this large, and I guess I did another video on that uh, because I had this painting uh, balanced on two trash cans, and you gotta kinda make sure that it's level before you put the acrylic medium on there so that it's not gonna you know, go one way or the other. But anyways, um, I just thought I would share that with you, and uh, I'll show you the next step when I get this part done, which is, again, hitting it with the steel wall with water. And then I'll show you the cold wax part. Okay, everybody, so I wanted to show you what the surface looks like. Uh, I should have grabbed a, a, you know, a video when it was actually really super glossy, but I've just now taken the steel wool, and it's taken me about a good half an hour. This is a 48 by 48 inch painting, and you can see that it's duller. It's quite a bit duller, and as opposed to like extremely shiny, which is what an acrylic painting normally looks like. So I had some areas where I had collage paper and you know, if there's like a really shiny spot, I would go back in uh, with my steel wool. But this shows you that it's now, you know, somewhat in between high gloss and it's kind of got the still shiny, you can kind of see here with the reflection. But that's what I want to now treat with my final step here of putting cold wax medium, just plain old, cold wax medium I put on a very thin layer and let it dry and then I buff it and what I end up with is a satiny finish okay so it's not glossy like these little bits that shine and I can only get that so dull with uh, steel wool so I'm just going to show you now putting on the cold wax medium. Hey hi everybody so what I'm doing right now uh, I just showed you a close-up of the surface and it's definitely knocked back a lot of the shine and I use steel wool with water. So whenever you do that, you know, little bits of that steel wool can be left behind. And then when it gets wet, it rusts. So you really wanna make sure you get all that steel wool off of your painting before you do anything else. So I like to use blue shop towels. And then what I do, again, this is still an acrylic painting, so I'm just gonna spray it with water like this all over. And I'm gonna cover the entire surface with this blue shop towel to make sure I've got any bits of that steel wool that might have come off in the process. Because after a, a half an hour of, you know, doing the circular motion all over this, it can happen where you get these little bits coming off of your steel wool pad. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing like this. Make sure you get it really dry. Keep checking the bottom of your towel to see if, you know, anything's coming off like these bits of steel wool. And like, you don't really see them often, but you just have to know that they're kind of microscopic pieces. <laughs> now here's my uh, cold wax medium, and I like to use the Gamblin brand. It doesn't matter whether it's Dorland's or, you know, I like the Gamblin. It's just a little bit, just what I have. And, and, and it works great. And then I have a spatula, and what I'll do, you can see it's rather full. It looks like shortening. I'm just gonna grab some of that, and what you really want, though, is a very thin layer on top of this uh, acrylic painting. You don't wanna, like, have it thick, because as you can see, it's very opaque. And when it dries, uh, if you make it too thick of a layer, it's gonna be opaque. I don't want any opacity. I just really want a thin layer that I can buff to a satiny shine. So what I'm gonna do is just put like some globs of this down like this, like that to start with, okay? And then set that aside. And now I've got like this, uh, this silicone tool, which I call, it's a Messermeister. It's actually a bowl scraper, but anything like this, any, you know, it's got a very uh, thin edge here. It's got acrylic on it because I use this for acrylic and I use it for cold wax and oil, but um, yeah, just make sure it's kind of clean. Um, it's got some stuff on it. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna use to get the really thin layer. And it kind of squeaks. You can hear it squeaking. That's what it sounds like when it doesn't have the wax on it. So see, now it's not squeaking because I've got a very thin layer of cold wax medium on it. So now I just wanna make sure I get the whole surface. When you tilt your head, you can really see the glossy areas that haven't gotten the cold wax medium yet. So it's good to keep 
going like this and you'll see those areas that are shiny. So now the edges uh, and the top has been coated with this thin layer of cold wax medium and I'm going to let this dry for half an hour even overnight because I'm working on so many pieces at the same time. Now I'm going to bring over another panel, its other part because this is a diptych and it has dried overnight and I'm going to show you the difference between the matte uh, surface that's the dried cold wax medium and then I'll try to show you, it's kind of hard to show but I'll try to show you an angle where you can see how it gets just that satiny finish which I really love. So I'm going to move this out of the way and uh, set it down somewhere and then go get the other panel. This has had the cold wax medium dry overnight and you know again it's hard to really see the difference but I just want to show you that it's pretty dull and I'll show you the difference between how dull this is versus when I shine it. Okay, so let me grab some blue shop towel because that's really all I'm going to use. Got to put some muscle into it and you know you might pick up a little wax on your shop towel, that's fine, just keep turning it over. Circular motions. You want to spend some time doing this because you, you know, want to get every square inch of it, you want to make sure it's all evenly polished. Everything is a process. You might as well enjoy it and take your time because if you rush, you won't always get good results. Just try to enjoy every part of the art making process, including finishing it. So from a distance, uh, hopefully you can see now that the light bouncing off the surface is quite satiny. It's not high gloss. And I know it's a fine line between satin and high gloss or even regular gloss, but uh, it is um, very subtle and it's quite beautiful. So I'll just move my camera around and I hope you can see that. Uh, there's nothing like seeing it in person, but <laughs> maybe you'll come to my show at the Moscow Contemporary. That would be awesome. So anyways, uh, I hope that helps and good luck as you experiment with this process or you know, try to finish any acrylic painting with this different method. Um, I really like it. So thanks everyone. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, just to recap, there are four steps in how I finish my acrylic paintings. Uh, the first thing is I cover the entire thing with a thin layer of Liquitex pouring medium. Golden has a similar product called self leveling gel but I like the Liquitex pouring medium. So I put that over the whole surface, it's self-leveling. Make sure that your surface is level, like not tilted. Let that dry overnight. Now you've got a super high glossy uh, surface from that pouring medium. Then uh, once it's dry, you take your steel wool and you dip it in water, any water, and clean water. And then you just do the swirly thing on the top until it all gets kind of dull. Keep tilting your head to make sure you got all the places there. Then uh, spray that with water and take a paper towel. Make sure you pick up all those little steel wool bits that could be left behind. Then after that's dry, put a thin layer of cold wax medium, just plain over the top with like a, a squeegee or a Messermeister tool like I showed you and make sure it's very thin. Let that dry. Do the edges if you want. And then when it's dry, 30 minutes to overnight, take a blue shop towel or cotton cloth or whatever and buff buff it and it'll get to that satiny shine okay so if you like the video and want more videos like this please like share subscribe you know that whole thing and I really appreciate it and love that you're uh, watching this video and uh, thanks very much okay bye now